and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason this is your tuesday chronic pain video session mp3 whatever you want to call it um as well as doing these videos on youtube which you can see if you're watching it the mp3s are also available on my uh, soundcloud podcast uh, and you can download them there as well if you wanted but you can play them so if you wanted to play it online just uh, go to my youtube uh, to my website and click on them there's a, a click for the soundcloud thing and um, so also please subscribe if you like what i do leave a comment and like and all that stuff right so i'm just trying to think last week uh just trying to remember what i did last week i can't remember so i know what i was gonna do but i didn't do it because i got started thinking about something else so what i think i'm gonna do is apologies if i've done it before i have done it before i've done this um I've used this technique in the past um, and I've also made videos probably a few and over the years with this technique um, but I'm going to give you the, the process of it sort of give you sort of how it happened and then we'll do it so basically all this is really is um, Back in 2004, I was meditating and I had a lot of problems meditating because I'm not as flexible as I would like as far as meditation goes um, and I've never been really as flexible as I'd like to be. I, was, I did martial arts from a, when I was a child onwards and I still wasn't really that great with the stretches and the kicks the high kicks i could do it but it's um i don't know I don't, maybe i've got short legs i don't i don't know what it is but i don't that's you know so whatever but it was causing me pain so i was meditating and i was getting a lot of pain in my lower back and um so i focused on it and I focused some more so I focused on the pain I focused on the area around it and then I started thinking okay so where is it and I started searching for the pain started searching for it and it might sound like a, a strange concept but I started thinking all right well where is it let's just um, let's go inside it and see where it is where it originates where it is you know let's just go inside and pinpoint so what I did try not to kick my camera over this is the second attempt of this video I kicked the camera over earlier so um, I have to be careful with these little legs of mine so what I'd like you to do is focus, first of all, we're gonna focus on a part of your body which has some pain. Of course, you need to know the cause of the pain before you ever listen or watch to watch any video that helps you to reduce your physical pain um, because you need to know the cause. So make sure that you've seen a doctor, a GP, uh, some kind of practitioner, specialist professional before you ever do anything to reduce your pain you need to know the cause and you need to make sure that it's safe for you to do this stuff right if you like to close your eyes and only close your eyes if it's safe to do so of course i'd like you just to focus on that part of your body and just do like an outline of it just maybe you can draw an outline in your in your mind maybe like in chalk or pen or you know just 
just so you can kind of just get an idea where it is just to keep your focus and what you could do is put a cross on it put a cross where you within that area where you feel it's the most intense okay just a little cross so you know where to focus and what you're going to do now in your mind's eye is you're going to focus into where the cross is into that specific part of your body where that physical sensation is so what we're doing is the opposite to what a lot of people would ever want to do is instead of running away from the physical sensation you're actually going to not confront it but you're going to chase it you're going to follow it you're going to see where it goes because with things like pain it only has power over you if you allow it to and it can only really have that growing sensation that only happens when you don't want it to happen when you try and push it away but when you actually go straight into it it's no longer one big thing that maybe it used to feel it's actually lots and lots of tiny little things in the same way that we're all just made of atoms in the same way that you can go into a swimming pool and see all that water and some people would, who can't swim for example may like not want they stay at the edge they don't want to go near the water but if you take a cup of water take a cup and take water out of the swimming pool and just show them the cup of water they're not going to be scared of that so they're not scared of the water otherwise they'd run away from that cup of water that's not the fear that's not the problem that doesn't have any power over them in the same way when you focus in on the actual physical sensation itself and you go in and you focus focus even more focus really focus in and just ask yourself where is it where is it look for it look for that pain and yeah I'm going to use the word pain in this one I'm not going to pretend that it's anything else but pain is what you're looking for look for it and if you find it focus in on that go inside and look for it look for the cause look for look for the the core of it in the same way the planet has a core look for that driving force look for the energy go inside And the weird thing is when you actually do go inside, that feeling changes. It's not the same. They say it's uh, the analogy being the, the eye of the storm where everything's calm. So you step inside again, look, look for it. sometimes the pain changes maybe it moves moves for a different part of the body even just follow it and keep going inside step inside keep stepping inside ask him where is it where is it show me because you have no fear 
I'm not scared of a feeling. As you step inside it, notice what happens. Step inside, again, keep looking, keep searching, and focus deeper and deeper inside that feeling. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep focusing. In your mind, you can you can see the journey. Maybe it's like in your imagination traveling through a black hole in space. Maybe you can see certain colors or images. Maybe you can feel certain physical sensations. Just keep going deeper inside. Where is that pain? Where's the core to that pain? Keep searching. The more you search, the less you find. more you search, the less you find, and the less you find, the less you feel. And the less you feel, the more you search, and the more surprised you might feel. when you're actually focused on a part of your body that was causing you problems in the past and now that feeling has changed. And it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel logical. But nevertheless it's changed, that feeling has changed that physical feeling in your body has changed and it's not just that that physical part of your body has changed also your reaction your emotional reaction has also changed as if that stimulus, that trigger has just been destroyed somehow as if the batteries have been taken out of whatever was causing the energy of that physical sensation that you used to experience because there's no longer anything causing or producing the energy for that physical feeling to even exist. Which is why it's impossible to find it when you really look deep. to find it is like trying to write on a, a wet piece of paper it's impossible just now It's an emptiness.
There's a feeling that doesn't really fit anymore with how you used to see yourself. And it's a kind of a surreal experience knowing that you don't know why or how you can feel so relaxed and calm so easily experiencing changes physically and emotionally transforming your life in a way that really allows you to get closer to that feeling of love, that feeling of self-love and self-acceptance and appreciation for these abilities that you have within your grasp, always able to just let go. And you can just be in this moment experiencing how you feel not trying to do anything trying to experience anything but being aware of just how easy those physical sensations in your body can change in an instant because nothing is set in stone feelings are always changing always You can enjoy those changes. You can cherish those changes. And you can appreciate yourself. Really appreciate just how amazing you are. And just how easily you can make and allow yourself to feel relaxed and calm and to welcome these changes in your physical condition to just reduce converting Feelings that you don't wish to have into feelings that are acceptable. A transformation instantly and naturally. Because when you really look for the core of a feeling you realize
place that it's just a feeling. And if you're going to have a feeling, why not choose one that you can enjoy? This brings us to the end of this week's Tuesday Chronic Pain. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.